Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'd like to speak to you as one that has obtained mercies from the Lord and has found grace in his sight. And as of one who have tasted and know that the Lord is good and faithful. And in my short journey with God so far, as one who has proven him to be faithful, many of us want to see the power and the glory of God in our lives. Many of us wonder many times why certain things are not happening with us like i taught yesterday in this in the bible study that the other side of god the the, the other side of god you were never told and that god is a very strict god and there are protocols to everything nothing just happened god is a god of order he said let everything be done decently and in order according to first corinthians chapter 14 verse 40 i'm again endeavoring to open up god to you do you want to see the faithfulness of god in your life do you want to see the power of god the bible says he is faithful that has called you god is faithful who has called you but one of the keys to which you will be able to know the faithfulness of god is what i want to quickly show you right now maybe if you understand this part of god again today it will enhance your christian journey and your spiritual growth with God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Bible says, a faithful man shall abound with blessings, all kind of blessings. But he that maketh is to be rich shall not be innocent. Proverbs 28 verse 20. I'd like you to pay serious attention to the context of what you are beginning to hear. Many may be blessed, but the faithful man multiplies in blessings. Faithfulness to God multiply the blessedness of God to you. Faithfulness to God multiplies the blessedness of God to you. You want the blessings of God to be made manifest in your life, all the spiritual blessings that Jesus has already established for us cannot be manifested extensively and sustainably in your life without the certificate of faithfulness. And every now and then, God gives you opportunity to prove that you love him to prove that you are committed to him listen let me show you a scripture that will bless you for the rest of your life psalm 18 verse 25 and 26 i'm reading from new international version to the faithful please listen and listen well to the faithful you will show yourself faithful come on what is god trying to say to you to the faithful to those who have been faithful to god are you faithful to god the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. Are you faithful? What does it mean to be faithful? To be dependable, to be loyal, to be constant, to be stable, to be consistent, to be on it and be doing it day by day repeatedly. You've been taught the rituals of giving. Are you faithful? Rituals of prayer, rituals of faith, rituals to divine health. Are you faithful? One thing you must understand, which I've taught you about spirituality, to be spiritual means you understand the rituals that accommodate or command the particular specific spirit to tabernacle with you and the spirit will not come unto you to stay with you to give you the result that you will reckon with as grace without the evidences of your faithfulness and your faithfulness is in the continuity of the same you're not going to give up Continue thou in well doing. Be faithful in well doing, for ye shall reap if ye faint not. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season, that's where I'm going. There is a due season when you will begin to reap. So, so your faithfulness begins when you first planted a seed, and then you can only be faithful by faith. You know what you are doing is not in vain be ye steadfast or movable always abounding in the word of the work of the lord as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the lord thank you jesus glory to your name father god Ooh.
first corinthians 15 58 therefore my beloved brethren be ye steadfast be faithful be consistent the god with whom you have to do with as calibration in the realm of the spirit that measures your faithfulness your commitment your consistency and there is always a threshold to every spiritual responsibility activities rituals you begin to do and every rituals you begin to do by faith as an end and there is a point at which you will begin to reap someone blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly nor sit in the seat of his comfort nor stand in the ways of sinners but his delight is in the law of the lord of the lord and in the law of the lord doth he meditate day and night listen he shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water but don't forget that he is faithfully meditating upon the word day and night every spiritual activity that i've taught you are rituals as an end there is a threshold at which the responsible spirit which represent the grace of god induces it will be dispatched to you and tabernacle with you which means by faithfulness you move to another level of results and when you continue in the rituals you keep on growing and you keep on manifesting the grace of god in higher and higher level from glory to glory faithfulness sons and daughters of god it shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in its season his leaf also shall not wither whatsoever i do i shall prosper it comes by faithfulness stay at it what is the gift and the grace of god what assignment has god given you what ability has he given you be faithful some of you don't even know what you're supposed to do with your life but god brought you to some places where some other people already know what they are doing with their lives what are you supposed to do is to follow the leadership there and whatever they commit into your hand do it with all thy might be faithful to whatever you are being delegated to you know why according to luke 16 verse 10 to 12 one who is faithful in a very little is also faithful in much this is the way god operates and one who is dishonest in a very little is also dishonest in much if then you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon who will entrust to you the true riches so what what is god saying you've not been paying tithes you've not been giving offerings you've not been given to your prophet you've not been given to the poor you've not been performing all the financial rituals that you've been told you've not been doing your first fruits you haven't been doing those things faithfully god says so how do you expect me to make you a custodian of kingdom wealth god has wealth to give to us children of god but how many people we give it back to him god is saying to you if we only make you a custodian of the true riches that you don't labor for according to proverbs chapter 8 where the wisdom of god is was saying and is still saying riches are with me yeah durable riches and long life so for you to become anointed meaning you have commanded the spirit that is called the power to get wealth you have commanded the spirit that is called the blessing of the lord that make it with proverbs 10 22 deuteronomy 8 verse 18 for thou shalt remember the lord your god for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth as long as you are faithful to the respective rituals that delivers your desire god is have no choice than to give it to you in due season there is a due season which is a function of your faithfulness and the capacity of your faithfulness based on your heart status thank you holy spirit some of you have fasted you have prayed and you keep wondering you are you keep wondering why it seems like god is not counting what you are doing you need to check what you are doing. you need to check your heart first of all and you need to check your commitment to god god is not prodigal with less eyes have not seen ears have not heard it has never crossed the heart of men the, th the things god has kept for those who love those who love him they keep his commandment they obey him they are faithful god is faithful to his promises only to those who 
are faithful to him. There are general blessings. It rain is rain on the just and on the unjust. There are crumbs blessings. But the real deep blessing, the covenant blessing, they are not for you if you have not been faithful to God. So if you want to enjoy continually the faithfulness of God to his promises, to his fatherhood, to his Godship over your life, if you want to see the covenant blessing come into pass in your life from time to time, be faithful to the graces of God, to the will of God, to the commandment of God, to the assignment God commits into your hand from time to time. Do it diligently. Do it diligently. Do it diligently. A faithful man shall abound with blessing. You want abundance of God's blessing? It is by faithfulness. It is not by crying. It is not by just fasting, going to the mountains or valley. No! It comes by faithfulness. God will judge. I told you yesterday, promotion does not come from the east, from the west. Blessing does not just rain down. God is the judge. Psalm 75 verse 6 to 7. God will judge you faithful. Once God judge you faithful, he cannot deny you blessing. The reason why many blessings of God are not coming to pass, prophecies are not coming to pass, prayers are not being answered, could just be because you have not been faithful to him. Can you just have a change of attitude? Commit yourself to faithfulness. To Some of you are doing rituals because you thought by just doing the rituals alone, you will get the result because you are trying to play a casino with God, you are trying to play games with God, but he's still the judge. He, he looks into the heart. He judges your heart, measures your heart alongside with the rituals that you are doing, and he makes his own judgment. You can't fool him. God is not mock. Whatsoever a man so he reaps. If the rituals you are doing is not going to be glorifying him, he will not bless you. So let everything you do be from a pure heart to his glory and do it faithfully and in due season you shall reap if you faint not. And whatever you do in the house of God, you are not looking for the praise of anybody. You are doing it unto the Lord with joy, with gladness. Whether any man recognizes it or not, you know you are doing it for God. Your appointment is by God with God. You are doing it unto the Lord. You are not looking for the praise of men. Give God praise over everything in Jesus' name. Hear the wisdom of God. And he went further and looked 16 verse 11. And he said, If you have not then been faithful in your righteous well, who will entrust into your trust true riches? And if you have not been faithful in that which is another's, who will give that which is your own? Can you see it again? One of the reasons why you don't know what your destiny is all about is because you have not been faithful. In this week, as we step into the fasting period of activating your destiny and receiving impartation of the Holy Ghost, you must know that you need to be make up your mind to be faithful. Some of you need to repent and recommit yourself and become faithful to the vision and the mission of God where he has placed you. You may not know what your destiny is all about yet, but I guarantee you as you commit yourself to the various department that God has commissioned you, maybe through your departmental head or the apostle himself, apostle's wife, by the Holy Ghost, do it with all your might. Be faithful. You want to know your destiny? Be faithful. Let me take you back to Psalm 18. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 25 again. To the faithful, you show yourself faithful. This is God. You want to know the faithful, faithfulness of God? Be faithful. To the blameless, you will show yourself blameless. This is the God of the Bible. There is no shortcuts with him. To the pure, you show yourself pure. To the devious, you show yourself shrewd. Simple, straightforward. You want to know the faithfulness of God? Be faithful to him. Be faithful to him. Be faithful to him. You don't know what he wants you to do. Ask your pastor. He will give you direction. Then follow, follow it and commit your life to it. For things wherever your hand find it to do, do it with all thy might. Do it with all thy might. Do it with all thy might. Thank you, Jesus. Makasho prediata. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10. I believe the wisdom of God is being passed to you. Let me give you two more scriptures and then I pray with you. First Corinthians 4 2. Moreover, it is required. There is one fundamental requirement in stewards. What kind of stewards? First Peter 4 10 says, As every man has received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Some of you want to increase in grace. You want the grace and the capacity of God to be increased in your life without 
now being faithful. You saw it in the parable of the talent, Matthew chapter 25, that the master requires fruitfulness, faithfully trading with the gift and the ability that God has given to you. You can't be in the house of God and be useless. You do not receive the grace of God in vain. There is not a single among us that God has not gifted. And during this week, I will be sharing more and more on this dimension, that gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. There are gifts of the Father, there are gifts of the Son, and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. But the same Holy Spirit administers all. There is something God has placed on you to make you function in the family that he has brought you. It is impossible for you to belong to a family of God. And I've told you about knowing your spiritual family. If you belong to a family of God, there is a grace of God upon your life to function in that family under the apostolic or pastoral leadership that God has placed you under. Don't stay in a place that God has not ordained for you. But when you know that this is where God wants me to be, commit your life there until he gives you leave. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. So 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2 again, it is required in stewards of the grace of God that a man, it is required in stewards in the household of God, in the service of God, that a man be found faithful. And remember where we started for, once you are found faithful, how can you be found faithful? It means you've been at it. You started with it. You were being observed. You are being marked and you are eating the calibration in the realm of the spirit. There come a point, your case will come as a memorial before God and the grace of God will be released to you to bring you into stability in that area where you have been seeking the faithfulness of God. And according to Psalm 18, verse 25, you will know that God is faithful only after you have proven your faithfulness to him. It is my prayer for you that this wisdom will define you from now on. And every spirit of unfaithfulness, every complaint, any spirit, every spirit of weariness, every spirit that does not allow you to be stabilized, I bind them and cast them out of your life. The Bible says, Reuben, unstable as water, thou shall not excel. Thou shall not excel. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. If you want to excel, you need to be stable, you need to be faithful, you need to be found faithful. God bless you.